I remember the story being something that he was hiding in like the barrel in one of the cellars downstairs. Yeah. And when the other soldiers found him, they stabbed him to death with their bayonets. Yeah. yeah. And he basically has haunted the hotel ever since. And apparently, there's actually a video of him. And the, the tale is, is that he, he was hiding in the basement mm -hmm. and he was bludgeoned to death with like a spear or a big sword because yeah. he was hiding in the barrel. Yeah. Something ticked? Yeah. Something literally just ticked. Maybe that's what we need to get the party started. Yeah. <laughs> oh, um, oh, 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 oh. What? What's up guys, welcome back to a brand new haunted adventure. Today I have something very, very special for you guys. I've been waiting to come here a very long time. Um, I actually came here a while back with Mo and Carlo one night, but we decided not to stay here and we ended up staying at the Prince of Wales up the street. Um, this place is called the Old Angel Inn. It is probably one of the oldest hotels in the entire country and probably one of the most haunted as well. There's tons of paranormal stories which we will get to. Uh, there's one main story surrounding the building itself and um, we're gonna see exactly how many places we can explore investigate if we can't do like the entire hotel we will try and get special permission to come back um, this is just something fun that Chelsea and Omar and myself really wanted to do they're actually back there so shout out to Omar and Chelsea check their channel out as well um, they have one room I have another room and uh, yeah we are in Niagara on the lake probably one of the most beautiful areas here in Canada very very historic there's a lot of history dating back to the War of 1812, back when Canada was at war with the United States of America. A lot of people died in this area, hence why this entire area is very, very haunted. Um, but yeah, smash that like button and let's get the party started. So since we are in Niagara on Lake, um, there is actually quite a bit of stuff to explore as well. Uh, unfortunately, we are still in lockdown. That's probably why this area is so quiet. This area is normally not this quiet at any time of year. But because of that, oh, that little building actually looks so much like the hotel. That's so funny. So all these buildings are super historic, all 200 years plus. I don't know what this monument is here for. Let's see what this is. Voices of Freedom Park. That's cool. Definitely, uh, or most likely has something to do with the war. Voices of Freedom, we made possible by the generosity of the citizens, businesses, and town of Niagara on the Lake, commissioned artist Fisher Ridout, Partnership Inc., and these signature donors. Okay, cool. Historical and cultural journey. Neat looking. But yeah, you see this kind of stuff around this area a lot. We'll figure out what else we're gonna end up filming tonight as well, because I don't think it's just gonna be the hotel. Um, but we'll see, we'll see what happens. Oh, you brought the Bristol board. I did. That's cool. So what was the idea for that again? Okay, so you lay it down on the ground. Yeah. And you put like different objects on the board. Okay. You outline them in chalk, and then you kind of like monitor it and see if the items move. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. That's an awesome idea. It's a new experiment, I guess. Yeah. Try it out. <laughs> Worth trying, especially in here. There's a lot of like known poltergeist activity in this place, right? So. Yeah, hopefully it's a good night. And it's also my birthday, just, just by the way, yeah. so we're also going to get really, really wasted. <laughs> okay. Is there a liquor store around here? I have no idea, to be honest. I came prepared. I have, uh, I have some beer. <laughs> That's true. But you'll also go broke. <laughs> yeah, $900 later. <laughs> this is the uh, front entrance of the hotel here. Oh, I'm already fogging up. I'm fogging up. Uh, yeah, let's see your room. Uh, oh, cool. You know, this room looks like looks very energetic. Oh, what the heck? <laughs> yeah, you so have like a little reason, extra you know, area. Oh, this is so perfect. <laughs> so your room is the party room for today. Yeah. That's for sure. <laughs> Dear ghosts, thank you for letting us stay in your house and being so friendly. I hope you find your girlfriend and the two of you are happy together. 
we would love to come back and stay. Wow. That's cool. There's a bunch of them in there. There's literally a whole book of just ghost stories. I don't even know. I, I think there's one on the wall in my room, so I'm going to go check that out in a bit, too. Oh, so we got people complaining about people screaming in the middle of the night. Yeah. Having the worst experience ever. Not hotel-wise, but ghost-wise, paranormal-wise. Yeah. Someone snatched the remote, eh? One of the spirits is there. Yeah, there's one of those. This is, this is going to get intense. I can already yeah, feel it. <laughs> I'm excited. Where's the first one? Like the lipstick. Oh, yeah. Oh, right here. All through the night, there were strange sounds. And there was like smudge lipstick and stuff. Okay. <laughs> Randomly, a book in our room stating that, you know, these people have actually experienced stuff, so we may, in fact, be in for a little bit of a treat. Special. I mean, Angel's room might be the demon room. You never know. No, my room is the sweetheart room, but <laughs> only problem is they forgot to include the sweetheart. Yeah. <laughs> you can find one on the street, bro. Yeah, <laughs> not in this area. It's not one of those areas, bro. This is the uppity up area, okay? Yeah. Alright, let's check out the, uh, the sweetheart's room. Okay, everything's still in place so far. Just whatever you do, Mr. Swayze, you can do whatever you want, just don't break the beer. <laughs> yeah, there's a little thing here on the wall, too. Um, Apparently these are all the original. So I think, what is the original story of this place? Captain so, Swayze, who was a general in the Canadian military. There was, um, there was a war. 1812 between the Americans and the British. Yeah. And Captain Swayze was actually, well, I guess, one of the captains. He was killed because he was ordered to leave and he didn't leave because he was waiting for his lover. She mm -hmm. never showed up. And they killed him in the cellar downstairs near the pub. Right. And apparently he's the one who still haunts this place. Right, right, right. Yeah, I remember, I remember the story being something that he was hiding in like the barrel in one of the cellars downstairs. Yeah. And when the other soldiers found him, they stabbed him to death with their bayonets. Yeah. yeah. And he basically has haunted the hotel ever since. And apparently there's actually a video of him Oh yeah, you can actually see it. Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna copy and put the picture up on the in the video here. But yeah, you can actually see a man in a uniform. That's so crazy. Is it like a full video? I don't know. Is I didn't watch the video. There's a video under it. Under it. But I don't oh, really? know. That's cool. Yeah. So I have a whole bunch of cameras. So I'm gonna try and set up as many cameras as I possibly can. See uh, what it is that we catch. Maybe we'll even do some. Uh, I have my flash for my camera. So we probably do some like flash photography. We're gonna try pretty much everything we possibly can here. Awesome. If this is one of the most haunted places in the whole country, Sweet. then we're literally gonna go all out. Oh yeah, we're, we're gonna do everything that we can possibly think of. We're gonna try tonight. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right. you got a lot of stuff to do though. We should go talk to the girl too. See if yeah, can yeah, yeah. So we'll, we'll try and get some special access to if possible. So we are going for a little walk here, just kind of looking around, a lot of the old historical buildings. I don't know what this used to be, that looks really cool. Could be like an old government building. Chamber of Commerce, that's what it is. Very cool. So we are in like the downtown of Niagara on the lake, not really where the falls area is. I actually just like this side better. It's less uh, touristy, more historic. Very cool. The Prince of Wales is just down there. We should go take a look at it again. I love that place. We have located the liquor store. I did bring my own beer, but uh, Omar and Chelsea wanted to get something for themselves. So it's very convenient that it's here. It's pretty awesome. Yeah, it's literally a ghost town around here, man. Ever since the uh, the virus hit, it's it's never been the same here in, in uh, Niagara. But here is the uh, the Prince of Wales Hotel. You might remember I filmed there a couple of times already. Probably one of my favorite hotels. Really, really cool inside. 
wow. Look how beautiful this place is. I've never actually had a chance to film it during the day, so this is really cool. It's so dead, unfortunately. Hopefully the province opens up next week. I'm very much looking forward to that happening. The restaurant. Might be able to go in and take a, take a look quickly. For those of you who haven't seen the inside of this hotel, it's absolutely magnificent. So they'll only let guests who are actually booked. Um, so unfortunately we are SOL on this one. <laughs> yeah, it's really, really nice in there. All right guys, so we are back at the hotel. Had to get some uh, shepherd's pie because that's what this place is famous for. There is a pub downstairs. They're actually going to let us film down there. What did you get? Burger? I got the Angus, man. And you got the, the fake, fake meat? Burger. The yeah. fake burger. Yeah. The yeah. bullshit burger, I call it. <laughs> All right guys, so it is much later now in the day. We finally had some food. I did a little bit of a live stream with you guys. I hope you guys enjoy that little uh, preview of the hotel. Um, so we've just been kind of like waiting for uh, the commotion downstairs to kind of die down uh, because there is going to be, if, if we were to start investigating really early, like around 7.15 uh, p.m., which it is now, um, you'd hear a lot of background noise because there is a pub downstairs, so we don't want that noise to interfere with obviously our investigation, our video. Um, so we are kind of setting up here. I do have as many gadgets as I pretty much own. I think I brought everything with me, including the SLS camera. I'm gonna do some like flash photography as well. We are gonna try and focus on Omar and Chelsea's room, just because their room has a lot of uh, historical reference to the paranormal. There's a lot of people who obviously have been here who've said that they've experienced something. I am gonna leave a camera running here as long as I possibly can. Um, to see if we can capture anything in this room as well. I'm gonna turn off that stupid heater because it's making a lot of noise right now and I don't want it to interfere as well. Um, but yeah, first things first, I think I'm gonna do some flash photography in here and then maybe try some in uh, Omar and Chelsea's room and see if anything comes up. So I do have my uh, secondary camera here. Um, just gonna take a few flash photos and see if anything ends up coming up. You never quite know, a lot of people, you know, they, they capture interesting things in flash photography. So I kind of want to try that as well. Maybe as soon as I turn on the flash, of course, because I have it set to no flash. <laughs> I'm just going to take some photos here and uh, kind of check them out as we go along. Nothing as of yet, but these photos are coming out like phenomenal. <laughs> Let's see, let's keep trying. Let's see if we can get anything. Maybe if I try from this angle. If I capture anything interesting, I will put them up on the screen so you guys can see as well. Um, when I'm in front of the computer, I'll investigate a little further because sometimes you be able to catch things on the bigger screen rather than just a little LCD screen, but I haven't gotten anything yet. So nothing yet in the flash photos, but uh, let's try the EMF here. See if, oh, we got something. Yep, we're getting something. Can you make it go to orange? you guys can see that. Let me actually just turn out this light here. Is that you? Do you want to make it go to orange? You want to make a sound? Knock something in the room? Anything at all? You want to touch this device in my hand? saw you doing it just a few seconds ago, why wouldn't you do it again? We were getting something in this area. That was interesting. Come on. Nope, nothing as of yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my secondary camera, I'm going to probably set it up over here, just to get a, as much of the uh, space in the room. 
And as we're investigating Omar and Chelsea's room, I'll review this footage later on and see if we actually managed to capture anything. Um, because a lot of the times you never know. There's been quite a few reports of poltergeist type activity in here. A lot of rearranging of furniture, things moving around. It seems to be a lot more in their room than maybe in this room, but that's kind of the reason why I want to set up the secondary camera and see if anything at all actually pops up, because I think that would be super cool to capture something like that. Good, how are you? Do you want to see in the basement when you've been around too? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, for sure. All the shit happened where Captain Swayze way was killed. Yeah, yeah. for sure. I'm sure you like it, yeah, when you're ready, if you want to take some pictures here. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. And I'll see you downstairs. Cool, yeah. thank you so much. We're actually filming for YouTube, so. We're oh, doing, yeah? Yeah, we have like paranormal channels. Oh, neat. Yeah, so we're seeing if we capture anything in the rooms too. We're staying in the room that I will never stay in. Really? Yeah. Why? Because we got here because I've had the. I've, Really? I had a guy from Hamilton. He's called a paranormal something. Mm -hmm. I forget what it was. Anyway, he came and had a seance in here. I stayed with him while we had a medium in and she was trying to contact stuff. Really? Since they've been in, we've had a lot more disturbances. Really? Yeah. But he said he was little kids here too. Huh. Oh, That's interesting. Yeah. All right. Cool down here, right? Yeah. <laughs> Very different. So usually the fire areas and the pub areas are the most haunted. In a lot of the times, around yeah. most cases, right? Well, she was just saying that the room that I'm staying in is the uh, terrifies her. She'll never stay in there again. I don't know why. I don't know. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, cool stuff in here too. Oh, here's Captain Swayze. Oh, there he is. See so yeah, if you see that guy here. run. <laughs> so they did actually offer to take us down into the basement and check that out. That would be really, really cool. Um, apparently that's where, where the captain actually was murdered. Um, and like you guys heard from him, apparently there's a lot of children in here as well. Which is probably why a lot of people complain about um, like hearing noises, ruckuses, people like through the halls and stuff like that. So it makes a lot of sense. Like more energy upstairs, more like in that. the rooms? Yeah. 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 <laughs> so far. Yeah. Definitely could be. Yeah. 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 This place is neat. So I've actually eaten here. Um, a long time ago, it was probably a good year and a half ago before any of this uh, COVID stuff started. Pretty sure we were sitting back there. Beautiful place. So they actually have some old guns in here. Are those like replicas or are those actually real guns? I don't think they're real. No, they're just replicas. So this, only you just be careful because it's a low. Yeah. Low seat. Yeah. No worries. Like a lot of this, the stone, that was all. But this is the original, like stone of the building. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What would be? Yeah. So this probably could be from, because before it was the Angel Inn, it was burnt down in the War of eighteen twelve. Yeah. And uh, but before that, it was called the Harmonious Coach House, which was probably about mid 1700s late 1700s mm -hmm. then the war of 1812 it burnt down so this would be probably the original you can see a lot of the old stone and the outside of the building here would be like the foundation because yeah. it's just below street level and this is where they would throw in like barrels and stuff like that hmm. um, so this is probably one of the oldest parts yeah. of the place, yeah. you know, like before 1800. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The and, uh, I don't know if you know the story about the the uh, the captain. Uh, yes, he was he was really, hiding from the soldiers and they he found was, him, right? Right, he was a British soldier. Yeah, he got caught when when the Americans invaded. Yeah, 
And the, the tale is, is that he, he was hiding in the basement mm -hmm. and he was bludgeoned to death with like a spear or a big sword because yeah. he was hiding in a barrel. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you know, just take the lid off and kill him. Yeah. Do you know? <laughs> yeah, what? Exactly. It makes the story sound good. Yeah, of course. But there has been, I'll show you a picture when we go up. So that was a lot of people who've stayed here have seen like images of an old like British soldier mm -hmm. and also a woman like mm -hmm. in old clothes you know walking down this when you went in the bar I'll show you when you go back up there used to be a staircase mm -hmm. you can tell where the beam was and Tim the guy at the bar with a big mustache he's been here for 30 years I've been here for 25 he saw two ladies walk come walking down like a staircase wow really and he said, I think it's time to go home. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, this is all, this is the cooler, what we do all the draft. <clears throat> and I say the outside of the building, because that's the street, that is Regent Street right there. Okay. So we drop all our kegs in here into there, and we've done that for years. Oh, okay. There yeah, used yeah. to be a trap door where the bar is, and mm -hmm. when you go in the front door, years ago there used to be a trap door where they would take it down the stairs, probably there. Makes sense. Into here. Yeah. The guy who did that, uh, Jake was on, it's like, 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 it's I closed up, none of the guests from upstairs showed up, it was like, I was in the building by myself, but I knew that, because they just closed up downstairs, set the alarms, everything, and I was staying in the sweetheart's room, uh, went upstairs, I was watching TV for a bit, I called my husband, was telling him I was staying over here, and everything seemed pretty, like, quiet, normal, it was really isolated, because nobody was even in town. Um, I turned the TV off, and, like, it sounded like a TV was still on somewhere in here. Like I was hearing full-on conversation and movements. Like so, I was like trying to rationalize it. I'm like, all right, maybe like I left the TV on, and maybe yeah. somebody in one of the other rooms left an alarm clock set, and I'm just hearing it going off. Right? Yeah, like hearing the alarm clock going off. Okay. And uh, the video was showing an orb, and all of a sudden the orb went like there, and we got. It took a, so she took a still yeah, picture from the video. So I don't think you can make it out or not. There's a better one. Probably the one on the online. Oh yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah. And <laughs> you can see if you're looking for it. Yeah. To me, it looks like there's a woman next to him with her arm folded like this in like an old dress. Interesting. Like oh, just yeah. behind him. Oh. This might have been the better one. Yeah, oh, yeah, you can see that. Now, is this photo online too? This, yeah. It's online? Yeah. Yeah, that's I the one you were mentioning you, before. Send it to you. Okay. Yeah. If you want, give me your email or whatever, yeah. and I'll send it to you. So what you guys saw there was uh, one of the old managers, he's been here, like he said, for about 25 years and obviously a lot of them have tons of different stories of this place, which is really, really interesting. I'm, I'm happy that I'm able to get these stories and add them into this video for you because it just makes this adventure so much more interesting when you hear a lot of the um, old paranormal stuff that has been captured here, um, like that picture, which is absolutely astonishing of the uh, the figure of the old British soldier, which is believed to be Captain Swayze, um, the man who was murdered here by the American soldiers back in the day. So I'm taking a little bit of a break and then we're heading back into Chelsea and Omar's room and we're gonna continue on this, uh, this investigation. So we're gonna continue on taking some flash photos. This was the area where we were getting some action, so. So what are we going to accomplish with the uh, the laser grid here? So the way that we kind of 
are gonna plan to do it. Is yeah. We're not looking for like a figure to go by. We're yeah. just looking for like one of the dots or a few of them to kind of flicker. Oh, okay. Something ticked? Yeah. Something literally just ticked when I was starting. Is there somebody here with us? <laughs> Nothing yet. That was weird, okay. <laughs> Where did it come from though? It Which came direction? from the corner. It was enough to like stop me from... Like this? Yeah, it was like a... Like, yeah, like a... Almost like that. Oh, like, like a snap. finger snap. Interesting. Oh, well, we had it. What, yeah. moved? They're, they're yeah, the remote moved a bit, yeah. moved a bit. Someone's review in the book was that remote. So yeah, if anything, if any of these kind of go sideways, we'll know. Turn the bear on. Yeah, that would be a good idea. So that bear is an EMF, right? Yeah. EMF trigger bear. Cool. Does he speak? No. No, it's not the interactive oh. one. <laughs> if only he spoke and he's like, there are ghosts around here. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, my name is Captain Swayze. <laughs> right? <laughs> That'd be crazy. So all of these are actually like pretty lined up, so if they move, we will know. Mm -hmm. oh. Was that was that somebody? Like our like our weight? That was like behind you, man. I don't know. Hmm. I mean the floors are kinda creaky, but I don't know. Alright, so I got the uh, SLS here, record- For some reason my camera just stopped recording on its own, that was weird. Your camera stopped recording? Yeah, it just went blank screen for like a second. That was odd, I literally came into this room and it just stopped. <laughs> Is something in here? Are you draining Angelo's battery? I don't think it's draining, it just for some Sorry. reason stopped, yeah. Hmm. That was kind of odd, so that was kind of odd guys, the uh... The um, camera just stopped recording as I was initially recording on the SLS camera in there. Just completely stopped and I didn't notice until I got into here. And then I'm like, what the heck? When did I stop recording? <laughs> like that whole clip is just non-existent. Okay. So we got a uh, laser set up here. So we'll see if anything passes through or any of the uh, little beads you see there, if any of those disappear be kind of interesting. Yeah, so what we're looking at, we're not really looking to see if the figure <laughs> walks by. It's kind of like seeing if the dots kind of flicker there. Yeah, that makes sense. Come on, show yourself. We know you're here. I'm assuming those are other people talking in the hotel. <laughs> So it is still early. As you can see, it is 8.52 p.m. Um, we do have the SLS still recording here. I do have this screen recording, so if it captures anything, I will have that recorded right off the computer screen so we won't miss it. So it's picking up YouTube correctly. Let's see if it captures anything else afterwards. Yeah, I came over here and you looked like you were startled. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like, came to check if the door was locked, and then yeah. as soon as I checked, I heard like that. Oh. Like the thing on the door? Yeah. Yeah, the little Exactly that metal. little noise. Yeah. And remember in the book too, they said to watch out for the nightstand? Yeah. Yeah, for real. Do you want to attack the nightstand? Do you not like it? You want to knock that lamp over? 
do it. And if it does, we have video proof that it wasn't us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for real. <laughs> and honestly, like, there's so many paranormal stories. It's not like they wouldn't believe us anyways. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, so you wouldn't believe what happened, but uh, I ain't paying for a new lamp. <laughs> Come on, knock the lamp over. Well, it's just gonna do it in the middle of the night while you guys are sleeping for sure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're just gonna hear something, just something crash. You see Angela open the door with the like camera. What was that? Leave it unlocked in case. I'm gonna center him a bit. What's going on? Boo buddy moved. Boo buddy was a little bit crooked. You touching our boo buddy? Why don't you make him go off? What if we put this down here? What's that thing do? So this is a motion detecting ball. Oh, okay. So it's not vibration. Yeah. It's not vibration. You actually have to physically like touch it for it yeah. to go off. So yeah, I'm gonna set that probably here. Why don't you make that touch that bear? Why don't you touch anything here? Why don't you touch me? Ooh. So, uh, Ouija board anyone? <laughs> yeah, I Ouija board anyone? Yeah, I brought one. Okay, cool. <laughs> you heard what they said though, right? Yeah, yeah like, well, there was the one person who started with the Ouija board and then all of a sudden the knob started turning, so... Yeah. Well, Maybe that's what we need to get the party started. Yeah. <laughs> oh, um, oh, oh, oh. What? That literally just went off. Yeah. Was that you, Patrick? Is that because we started talking about the <gasps> Ouija board? No way. What?